And here we go, people, as you can see on your screen. Cinderella has moved up to second place with Ursula at third place at market value of 333. And then Disney Minnie Mouse has gone to 316 at fourth place and Anna's at fifth place. So you can see the tides have changed, the tables have turned, things are slowly moving around. Um, so, yeah, it's crazy. I, I thought Ursula would be higher up and it's starting to look like that. I really wish that the market values wouldn't just dip like they do with stocks. I wish they could just stay how they are and then we just add more and more, but it doesn't work like that on Disney. No, you, you the, the money starts to drop, the, the price starts to drop and drop and then the market value never stays the same. It's always up and down, up and down like a yo-yo. Sometimes more down and up and it's just, it can be frustrating gauging the market with uh, Locana cards. Uh, because they're so volatile. I mean, they're up, down, up, down. It's just all over the place. So aggressive. And it's just... It's it's tricky as a seller to, to track. I mean, it's a TCG player seller to, to track and to, 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 to deal with. It's frustrating in a way sometimes. And then sometimes if you pull the right cards, like the aerial. If you've got an aerial, you're 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 in the hot seat. You're, you're good. You're set. If you pull the Ursula, you're pretty good as well. Because that's going to keep coming up. The Minnie Mouse... I thought it was one of the most powerful card at the time, and now it's really dropping down in value, and because there's so many more listings, there's 31 listings now, so it's like it's too many. It's starting to become more of a common enchanted. Uh, the most common enchanted that's on TCG Player right now is the Snuggly Duckling uh, enchanted, but not many people want that card anyway because it's not exactly that cool looking. The artwork is blah. Uh, but the next one that would be okay would be. Um, this one right here, Jasmine, 33 listings. That's why it's only $154 uh, with a market value of 206 but That's a, still a cool looking card, you know, nonetheless. Uh, my favorite looking card out of all the Enchanters would be the Ariel, and I do like the Diablo Devoted Herald. Um, that's got 20 listings at 260 cheapest, and 298 is actually the value of it. But they're trying to flog it for, for cheap so they can get rid of it quicker. Which I wish that people wouldn't do all the time because it does devalue the overall product and make it look less than it really is. So thanks sellers for doing that, but don't. Uh, try to sell it for the market value so we can get everyone can get the most out of the money. You know? It's usually newer sellers that do that. And it's kind of a, an amateur mistake, which I fell into that trap as well. But then you, once you've sold a couple of cards, you do realize you should sell it for at least market value. You know? Some people sell it for way over. Some people sell it for a little bit over, some people sell it for less, it all depends on the seller. Um, but I think market value is fair and you know, and then you can make a little bit of money and then you can put that towards more cards and more cards and your business can stay afloat, you know, and you can actually, you know, survive for longer. <laughs> Alright people, thank you for showing up for this video. I just wanted to update you about what is becoming more popular now, which is Ursula. And I'll see you in the next one. See you later, bye bye. And make sure you subscribe before you leave.